Hey everybody and welcome to the third episode of Tips and Tricks for Cakewalk by BandLab. This time it's about things that I did forget to cover in the first two episodes. Again, MIDI data, MIDI velocities, um, transform tool and converting MIDI data into track envelopes. Useful, helpful, small things. Um, and sorry for the waiting time since the last video. There have been private things, Easter and deadline for projects. Um, Therefore, let's not waste any time, dive right into it. Hello together. Today we're going to talk about, as I already mentioned, uh, some things that I did not cover in episode one and two. Again, meaty stuff, things that I did forget, but uh, which are uh, useful in any means. Please first have a listen to this section of a licensed music track that I'm actually working on. Voila! As you just have heard, there is a rise in intensity from bar 36 to bar 40, mainly achieved by rising velocities, adding instruments, opening filters and stuff like that. And to demonstrate something I want to talk about today, we're just going into the violin one-shot articulations and see what we have here. As you can see, we do have a, a ramping up velocity in this section. Um, as I already showed you, <coughs> sorry, you can achieve this by selecting all MIDI notes, hitting the control key and then tracking uh, where you want the ramp to start or to end and track it to your liking. Today I want to show you an alternative way to achieve the same result with the transform tool. Just activate the transform tool by left clicking and then right click. Be sure to select autofo autofocus. Oh yes, now it's activated. Select all the MIDI notes and then you can just drag these handles and achieve the same result. Just a ramping up velocity, you can grab this. You can even define a minimum velocity by dragging the whole thing to the top. Um, voila, that's it. Okay, we're just undoing this. Um, if you want to scale velocities in several tracks simultaneously, let's say for all the strings, I'm selecting all the strings by selecting the group clip, going to the piano roll, um, select all the tracks. Um, it's not possible to do this simultaneously for several tracks with the transform tool. If you want to do this, you have to do this with the, with the control key, as I showed you before. The transform tool can only um, edit one track at a time. So now you could just easily select everything and hit the control key and either track here or here to edit the velocities. Yes, and it's affected and it's affecting all tracks. As you can see, I'm clicking through the tracks. This is after the edit. Just watch the velocities. Now I'm undoing the last step. And now you can see that the velocities all have changed. Okay. Um, that's for this topic. Additionally, I want to intensify the emotion of this, uh, the, trans the, the, the transition of this section by adding a drum loop from Damage 2 from Heaviosity. Mm, let's first have a listen to this. Open the filter. I assigned um, my mod wheel to control this knob. The cutoff frequency. 
For those of you who don't know how to how to do this, please click with the right mouse button on the dial. Just click Learn MIDI CC Automation and then move whatever hardware controller you do have and then it's uh, assigned automatically. I already did this for CC1 modulation wheel. I'm just moving the modulation wheel and you can see it's moving alongside. Okay, how can we automate this? How can we open the filter during the progress of the section? Well, you could just uh, record the movement of the modulation wheel like now. To be honest, I'm doing this uh, a lot because you do have a lot of control. You can interact with the with the music, with the playback. But if you don't want this, I'm just undoing this again. Undoing. I'm deleting this controller lane. Maybe let's say you want to draw in something by hand. Then you have to add this controller lane by this plus sign here. Choose the controller data that you want to insert. In this case, modulation CC1. Click OK, select this lane, and then just draw in whatever you like. Maybe a linear ramp up. Um, please make sure that you don't have Snap to Grid activated, because if you have Snap to Grid activated, it will look like this. And this, this is not something you want to have, because drawing in controller data is also snapped to Grid. Therefore, don't have snap to grid activated and please make sure that you um, start drawing in the controller data right before the MIDI event starts so that the uh, automation in this case has already closed the the filter if you don't have any MIDI data before the beginning of this note like right now the following could happen I'm just soldering this. The filter is opening. And the last MIDI information is assessed that the filter should be open. If you then afterwards hit playback again, the filter is still open. And now you do have something like this, but you don't want this. You want the filter to be closed at the beginning. Yeah. Now it's the way you want to have it. An alternative way um, of having a ramp up with a built-in feature of Cakewalk is um, start drawing. Just hit the left mouse button at the point where you want the ramp up to start. Then hit the shift key and then start drawing a line. And the indicator at the mouse cursor shows you that you're uh, drawing in a, a line. Perfect line. Again, started right before the first MIDI note. Fine. Problem now is, um, like before as well, you will not hear any sound because the filter is closed at the beginning. Uh, you could just start the ramp up here, doing the same again. Now the filter is a bit open at the beginning. Okay, let's undo this last step. Mm. If you now hit the transform tool, again, autofocus, select the MIDI note. You can all this fancy stuff I already showed you, clicking this middle handle um, to have an exponential rise or a negative exponential rise. Or maybe you don't want to start at zero, maybe in the middle, then you can drag this lower middle handle and achieve something like this. Mm, what can you do? What else can you do? Ah, oh, okay. Another way to draw in a ramp would be the following. Just draw some random MIDI data in at the point where you want the ramp to start. Something like this. Then hit the transform tool. Select the MIDI nodes. And then you could just grab this right lower handle. Drag it to the top. Boom. There you have it. A nice, perfect linear ramp up. 
Another feature I want to show you is, let's say you do have this linear ramp um, of this continuous MIDI controller. Let's say you don't want to work, or you don't, you don't like to work with these controller data in the piano roll, uh, but instead prefer working with uh, track envelopes. You can convert these MIDI data into track envelopes. Just select this clip, hit clips, and then hit convert MIDI controllers to envelopes. Then choose the MIDI controller data you want to be converted, in this case, modulation wheel. Click OK, and boom, there you do have your track envelope. And uh, the MIDI data, okay, let's choose clips first again to go into the piano roll. The MIDI data is gone, just converted to the track envelope. Nice one, isn't it? That's for now. Um, I hope you enjoyed this small little video. See you next time. Stay healthy. Bye bye. Take care.